that's not a good sign. Me. Okay, that's a rough start, but um, the time we're going to uh, beat is a uh, 43. That's the best I have so far for um, Pike, and uh, fastest Pike is a uh, slightly faster 43, although uh, a very different strategy, and I'd really like to prove this one is better. So the the faster one right now is um, Wellspring, which is, you know, typical, especially for the current meta, current meta, but um, very excited to hopefully um, prove that's not as stale as it seems to most people, and uh, Missile Pike is pretty good, more than pretty good, very underrated, and I think on this trial, certainly the best as uh, hopefully you'll come to see. Oh. I'll chop up that first one to warm up. Hopefully this one will be a lot better. Uh, Catalyst 3, so I don't have full potion duration. So I'm gonna do one of the pots down there. So it lasts a couple seconds longer. Because he spent all that time uh, going through the tunnel thing. Okay, that's the perfect uh, orb reflect you can get. Next storm cause a uh, leg spawn a lot closer. Not get the hitbox I want there. It's a shame hit for 11k, but didn't break it. Wow, was that low? That's disappointing. Okay, I'm just gonna pulse my missile for this. the other side. Wow, that one actually broke really quickly. One combo and one missile. Not sure why 
messed up the other one so badly. I'm just gonna missile this, because I have weird attack speed, so I don't know the, the boot timing. And my Karabak's gonna come back right here. And there's my Oh god. Okay, I messed up that timing badly. I'm just gonna finish it off. I have bounties to clear. Yeah, it was that low. It's a shame if I didn't miss the missile there, I probably would have just killed it on the spawn. Oh. At least I still have the the orb timing there was really good. I wanna replicate that orb timing every time. That one's pretty much perfect. But yeah, the biggest mistake I'm making is um positioning for the second wound. So once Stormclad does that attack where he starts to get on his hind legs and stand up, I try to uh, poke early to get the poke finisher combo started up early so that it uh, starts doing the poke finisher right when Stormclad slams down. Oh. Hi Santiago, nice to see you here, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. A uh, hand pink dash waving to you too as well. Oh. Hope you're enjoying what you see so far. I'm uh, I want to say rusty, but I I just played like a couple hours before this, so I actually shouldn't be. I should be pretty well in practice at the moment. However, I don't seem to be in the best shape. Hopefully, uh, third attempt is the third attempt is the charm. That's what we're going with. Okay, got to drop in on a instantly on an even number, 52. There we go. This is the perfect boop start again. It's the one that gives uh, one of Stormclaw's parts the closest to you gets. Good crits on that combo. This is kind of bad, but we can make it work. This is actually quite good this year. That's a shame. Yeah, I didn't get the wound in time there. This is okay though, we can make this work for sure. Wow, it was one off, that's crazy. What did I hit 13k for? That part was broken. Uh, this part really sucks. Ah, oh, you're from uh, Argentina? That's nice. Saludos to uh, you too. that one up badly. We're gonna repot because I feel pretty embarrassed about that. Be bad wound as well unfortunately. Walk all the way around to this side. Three combos to wound. That is rough. I probably should not be playing any of these out. Oh well. And that one hits for white damage, that's not great. Oh, it just dies there, I guess. Oh. Haven't had decent run yet so far, but... Who knows, maybe fourth time's charm. Kind of a shame that um, the start in that run was really good. I had the perfect orb, and then I also had good crits on the poke, which is kind of annoying to grind for. It's probably more about the, the hitbox of the first poke than the crits, but um, man, it is a really difficult hitbox. The part is um, 
a lot less wide than it seems, and the, the Warpike's jab finisher attack, it uh, has a very strange hitbox, um, like it uh, different, it's, it's very um, varied placement, I'll say, like some of the pokes are much further forward or further back, so you kind of have to steer it um, in a different direction while you're doing it to make sure the ones at the end uh, hit because they um they'll have different ranges and different blind spots like uh the first four hits of the poke combo before the finisher specifically uh, i believe i'll have more range so like you gotta do those on a different angle because if they go too far into the behemoth they'll hit white damage they won't hit any part at all which is very not ideal so trying to avoid that Okay, I missed 52, so I'll jump on 50 here. Okay, this one is perfect as well, actually. That one is bad, though. You see, I had some white damage there as well. This is still good, though. Yeah. This is actually really bad, though. I don't know why I fucked that up. Like it's gonna break right here though. I think I had pre combo on this part, which is very strange. Ooh, I have the um the pulse lined up right here. It's very nice. Didn't wanna break that so early, but yeah, it's a shame because now it does this. I hit that and uh, didn't do anything. Oh. Hopefully next one I'll um I got in a really awkward position there, but uh what messed me up was probably the start, just uh didn't get wound fast enough, so I had to do a second poke combo. If you don't get a um, pretty decent, uh, a bit a above average critical hit rate, the first wound combo it will be like just short of wounding. And you have just, b if it does wound, if you get slightly above average crits, you have barely just enough time to, to do a full spin combo on the leg, which is actually quite crucial. And if you have like, um, if you have to spend like even another second or really like three fourths of a second poking it, then it just completely messes up the timing and uh just delays the first break a lot. And more importantly, well, that that doesn't seem like it, but um it really just gets you like out of the usual rhythm or gets me out of the usual rhythm I'm in for this strategy, so caught me off guard, let's say. But uh yeah, I could have played better, but um, also going to have to pray for a bit of luck to make the start work out. So not a super consistent strat, but one I find really fun nonetheless, and one I have a lot of um, motivation to pursue. Ooh. So close to the goal I'm hoping for with this, so... Don't really want to swap now. Okay, that one, perfect orb right there. Ooh, that's good crits right there. Yep, this is ideal. Okay, I critted it a little bit too much, but we can definitely make this work. Oh my god. That's actually really bad. What the fuck? Look, I'm actually very disappointed about that. I don't actually think I could have done anything there. I don't know, I think that's kind of just stupid. Didn't really. At least that one was good, but um... Yeah, that first missile just shouldn't have missed. Like, that was directly aimed. That was really lucky that that didn't kill me. I was really pushing that one, but I guess that one worked. Very sad about this though, like the start was extremely promising. 
both very lucky and uh, played pretty well up until the um, I don't know really up until the missile just completely missed I guess that was kind of my idea or not not completely missed it hit white damage but it, it really shouldn't have it was almost fully charged and did the arm sad quite peeved about that I have to go back and watch that start later though I definitely want to study but that's by far the earliest um, initial break I've gotten it, it might have just been really good crits but I'll, I'll check anyway just to be safe but uh I think the the leg it, it only broke in like like two and a half combos like uh I did one wound combo on it, I did one spin combo, and then I pretty much just switched to targeting the other part while the care black care back uh blades were slicing up the the first leg. But uh yeah, I guess the care black blades just uh critted really hard on the savagery and broke it much earlier than I was expecting. Which is a little bit unfortunate because like I I do wanna squeeze more time out of that part break if I if I um Hi Sebastian, hand pink waving to you too. Welcome to the stream. Uh, how are you doing? But yeah, so um, was it going on about right? So, so getting an earlier leg break, of course, means I'm doing more damage, which is good. But um, also kind of sucks because uh, I, I canceled a really useful attack animation there. So. When Stormclaw's doing that attack animation where he gets on his hind leg, like, like, you know, it, it is an attack, it's supposed to put you in danger, but, uh, if you're near the legs, there's this massive blind spots. Oh, good luck with your trials as well, then, Sebastian. May your crits be very impulsy. But basically, um, that attack specifically is very useful, and getting an early break and canceling it is actually kind of a big detriment. This is the good spot, I believe. What the fuck? Okay, um... I'm gonna just see how low this leg is, and then I'm gonna kill myself. I guess I won't know. That's cool. No, I'm, I'm gonna poke it once. I need to see it. It better actually be one. Two? Three? Four? It's four, okay. Well, regardless, I'm not about it. <laughs> That's very flattering for you. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, no, no hate felt. Uh, I shouldn't admit to this publicly, but I actually, I'm a huge, huge fan of ASMR. Like I, I actually watch it on a daily basis. Some may say I'm addicted. <laughs> I, I don't think I take inspiration, but. <laughs> Regardless, that's nice to hear, I guess. Um, although I, I don't usually listen to like voice ASMR, I usually just listen to like uh, <laughs> real. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying my realist, real, real, for real on God. But yeah, I, I usually just listen to like, um, you know, nothing in specific. But yeah, I I usually don't listen to stuff with voice to like human. I try to listen to like more. Um, sometimes natural sounds to like sleep usually like tune out all like the ASMR in my house you know like things going bonk in the night that is unnerving to me I uh, really really struggle to fall asleep and ASMR has helped a bit but still bad at the least it's comforting I don't know sometimes I feel like maybe it actually keeps me up longer because I like it too much yeah well, glad to hear I'm not alone, I guess. Rain with thunder. Ooh, yeah, I love that shit, man. I don't, I don't see the thunder too much, but I rain sounds. I love those, for sure. Initially, I thought that one was B. <laughs> uh, you know, you're out of line, but you're... You, you might be right, you might be right. We do be doing that to ASMR sometimes. What can I say? It's 
just the nature of it. Sometimes you have to. Shit. Yeah, I overcommit on that one badly. <laughs> awesome. 4k white damage, let's go. Please, break, oh my god. He was that low, dude. This behemoth hates me. Oh shit. I almost got the pulse link there. I see the last hit of my combo I actually missed. It's gonna break right here, I bet you. Yep. I shouldn't have done that, actually. I should have saved the break later so I can get the animation. Be yeah, glad to hear you guys are having nice ASMR nuts. This run is so bad, but it might be the fastest I've had this stream so far. Or maybe I'll do Gauntlet. Cause it looks like the guild is... Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I mean... Teleport boop is better, honestly. It's not worth, you know, throwing away the other boop for him, but... Man, this move is so slow. It's so hard to go under the behemoth to the other side. I used to dive there. Rat was ascent on the a the ASMR ramp. Yeah, so like I was saying, like Rain, I I initially thought I would like the most because like I don't know, I have like so many fond memories of like falling asleep to like Rain on the windows and shit, right? But um, it's usually like I listen to like I don't know, I want to say obscure sounds like you sh like there's a. Good luck with runs, man. Thank you, J-Man. I've... Man, I'm molding because I'm... So, I only got one good run, and, like, it... Before I got it, like, I completely, like, had no, like... I had no idea if this strat was good or not. And then I got one run where I'm... So, I'm milliseconds away from the top pike time. And the top pike time is Wellspring, and I'm using missiles. So, like, I, um, I wanted so hard to push for that, you know, last second. But, like... My second best run is like legit like 30 seconds. What's the hammer build I got for 14 seconds? It's a, uh, it's actually on my channel right now. Like if you go to my last video, the build is shown in like the first second of the video. But it, it's this. This is the, wait, hang on. It, it's one change, but it's pretty much this. This is the build that you're looking for. Yeah. Um. If you the, the like build link and everything is uh just in the recent video. I, I I can also show you the 14. It, it doesn't look much different. It, it's technically slower than the run I uploaded too because it's third break. I can also just show you Lothagos 13 because uh, he showed me that. Uh, give me a moment after this. I'll like hook up my phone and I'll post a link in chat. But yeah, back to the thing. So like I was saying like this has been really anything but consistent. Like I've had um... I had like four runs that have almost the exact same last quarter, but they all went so differently, and I haven't had any with the close to the same kill time. This is I actually think this is the best orb I've got so far, and uh, perfect time. Um, what is this? What am I supposed to do about that? That sucks. Oh my god, I didn't get to finish my combo. Jesus, fuck. Okay. That's really disappointing. That was so good. I mean, you know, this sound was my fault. Like, I, I can't be mad that, like, I pl It feels worse when you play good and you get unlucky than when you get lucky and you play bad, to be honest. Actually, that's a little dishonest, but I'm just trying to be positive. Because I'm very, very mad about that. But yeah, let me let me pop up my phone and I'll log in on the stream. Hang on. Just gotta go dig this up. It's a. I think it's a pretty interesting strat. Definitely one of the hardest I've tried. Unfortunately, it does seem like I will be fumbling this week. The 13 load to go has as a he's a full second ahead of me. He's not just milliseconds. 
It's a very fast 13. And I'm searching through my DM with him to find it. Okay, here it is. All right, got the link. Opening up the chat. Okay. And here is 13. There you go. Do you one better? I mean, the the build is the same, of course. Everyone's using the same build when it comes to Tempest. But uh, if you want to see what it looks like, there's some magic in that one. <sighs> Look at that white damage. We do not like to see that. Aw, oh, really? My missile got an awfully charged there? That sucks. Yeah, I still don't know how to get the the no white damage on that part. It just seems really bullshit. That, I, I tried so hard to make the Revenant uh, follow the break, but it did not work. Why am I on this fucking side? Are you shitting me? 15k? I get the, this before the wound expires? I don't think I did. Oh my god, this is the worst. You can't do shit about this one. He really, he did them too, like, in a in a line there, so like, instead of turning, so I didn't, like, react to it in time. And then my reaction time was actually very below average, but it just also caught me off guard, because he doesn't really do that often. I don't know why I did that, to reflect like that. Not really reason to, but sometimes it just feels good, what can I say? Okay, can I get wound and then I'll live and hopefully it'll die? Oh, yep. <laughs> Pretty much on perfect cue there, actually. I'm trying to think of like what next steps I can do to improve this. Like the the thing I I'm struggling the most with is still the second wound. So as I was saying, uh, when he does like the the hind legs attack, like he stands up. I need to like find the um I need to find a specific position where I can stand that uh gives me enough time to fully turn around with my attacks while I'm waiting for him to slam down, but also doesn't put me in the radius where it hits me, because the, the slam actually has a bit of an explosion, so it can still hit you if you're behind it, so you have to be very careful. And uh, the pike's range is like just slightly, barely bigger than the explosion. So um, like if I position like nearly perfectly, I'm able to... Well, it's, it's more than slightly bigger, but um needs to be a lot bigger to properly hit the arm hitbox for not white damage is the th issue. Okay, that one was very delayed. Yeah, see, that one's going to cost me like an extra full two seconds of walking, which is really bad. Alright, have fun watching the video. Thanks for tuning in.
No! Oh my god, that could have been the run. That is really disappointing. Uh, I don't know, but, you know, actually that definitely could have been the run. I guess how low it is. If, if it dies in the next payload, then I messed up greatness. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll never know. I don't know. That's something I probably won't use my conscience of for a while. Hmm. Not sure how it happened there, but uh, that was definitely the only run I had where the um, the second break actually happened with the missile. That is not supposed to happen at all. Usually I'll do the missile and then it'll like be at like one percent health. I'll do like just one more or a couple more swings to break it off. But there, that time I think I um. So I was mentioning earlier, so I'm like, I want to be standing at the back leg, so the care back blades rotating around me at the back leg, but then I want the, the ranged poke attack to actually reach around to the front leg and start wounding it. So you know, I have the back leg wounded, and I'm having the care back blades spin on those for that savagery damage while I prepare the next leg while my care back blades are out of range, but what happened there is I got too close to the care back blades spun on those first, so... I should have had less actual damage, but it gave me a, a much earlier break as a result. It's it's hard to say if it was good for me there or not. I think if I knew it was coming, and I played around it, I could have gotten a faster time, possibly. But I didn't, so it uh it messed up the strategy I was planning. Because well, uh, a pretty big portion of the strategy is planning for an exact thing to happen, and simply repeatedly playing it until that thing happens and then when it happens everything works out perfect but when it doesn't you know it's uh much much slower is the thing uh, that's a decent orb last time though we had bad orb and it worked really good so you know good good crits this time though so that's all good This is actually perfect. No! Oh my god. I missed. That is painful. It was that low, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it anyway. Oh, it's out of staff. Yeah, that's depressing, to say the least. We're gonna wound this before we uh, revenant. I missed. Yep, seven, seven thousand damage down. The oh my god! Like I'm directly hitting the leg, man. This behemoth is not cutting me any slack. Wonder how low it was. I mean, it was definitely lower than two charged payload crits. That's for sure. Only two breaks, yuck. I feel like I'm like, what's the word? Sondering? Uh, I think it starts with like an S and it's like to ruin like a good opportunity you've been given. I can't think of it at all. I don't think sondering is a word. What is it? Shit, like, I'm gonna like pull up the, th the thesaurus, but uh. Whatever it is, I'm like, I'm doing that to, to those last two runs. Like, messed up the orb, which is a skill issue. That's something I, I actually can do better and isn't related to luck. And then I got um, really lucky with the crits. I got super early wound, which is wonderful. And then I got too many good crits, weirdly, and the, the first leg broke early. Very strange. In, a, in, a, in an ideal run, I want to be able to get off one one poke combo on the front leg, or it's more like one poke finisher. Pretty impossible to get off a full combo on it. Uh, or there is a way to, but the, the hitbox is so bad it seems even harder to, to full wound it in the back leg. Although there is definitely some benefits to it if it could work. I think I only tried it like four times and then I gave up, because like 
This chart is already inconsistent enough. I'm not gonna make this the start drastically more inconsistent. Especially when I wasn't even sure if it was actually bad or not. This is perfect though. This one right here, where it Strongpaw has its back face to the wall after you uh, hit it like that. That one's what you want. I don't think I can get full spin here, which sucks. Oh my fucking god. Uh, don't rip red and red die, I guess. I don't even know why I did that rev. I did it because I saw the pulse thing, but... God, it was not worth it. What is he doing? Yeah, look at that. Can I get two missiles on this? Yeah, 11k. I'm not sure if it's even worth it to spin combo on the uh, arms like that was meant to hit the savage or the wounded part and then yeah this vein it kind of just pisses me off it's, it has really uh, it has really consistent behemoth uh, behavior but just the the hitbox of the behemoth themselves are just leave so much to be desired I need to stop playing these out, but resetting is just so boring. I don't want to say I'm bored of this trial already. Because I don't think I am, but just... Mm, I don't know. I've only been trying this strat specifically for today, so... I'm just a bit burnt out because I played it for... I've played this one for like 7 hours, so I only played Tempest for like half an hour. So I don't know, I might swap to Tempest. I usually just assume more people would rather see me stream uh, non-Tempest, but Tempest is just so much more consistent, so I actually might. I also just think there's a lot more to learn. See, I think you need to reset a lot less during Tempest, whereas like this, like, a lot of times I'm just making major mistakes and then just playing it out because I just want to kill the damn thing. I don't know, I'll play a couple more if there's like nothing fruitful and and uh and no one objects to Tempest then I'll swap to it I guess. Although it would feel pretty lame. Because I, I uh I don't actually know if I can change the title on mobile. Cause if someone like watches the stream after like the the post live recording and it's like titled, you know, Pike and they come on and say after forty minutes it's Tempest, that'd be kinda disappointing. So yeah. Usually don't want to do that, but let me actually see if I can edit the title. If so, then I'll probably swap to Tempest in a, a little bit. If uh, if no one cares. Okay, there we go. There's perfect orb. Perfect wound. Yep, this is perfect, actually. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Uh, it was that low even without payload? Like, why? I don't even know what happened to it. Just another case of, you know, really good crits, really bad player. Can it die here? No. Yeah, I haven't had a sub once I uh, run this stream so far. Maybe I need to use Shrike earlier at the start so I can like pike charge to the behemoth. I don't know. It's always funny seeing him teleport away and then die. 
shows the game's funny hitboxes. Cause it's like, you know, on your screen it appears like it's already teleported away, but this hitbox is still there. You can still kill it and it can still kill you. Opposite happens a lot too, which is, you know, of course, uh, much less in the player's favor. Like, you know, the behemoth teleports in and you hit it with something and then nothing happens. I've had that happen a lot because I've been... Uh, my reaction time is, I don't know how I went mentioning this like twice in like 40 minutes, but um, very slow, so I try to like um, overshoot when predicting things. So a lot of times uh, when a storm cloud comes out of that teleport, I'll like, shoot the missile a little bit early, and there's actually a very, very small frame of time in between Stormclaw coming out of the portal where he uh, where he can hit you but he actually can't be interrupted so like you do all this damage to him and then it won't interrupt which is very painful or sometimes a funnier thing that can happen is you can deal enough damage to break apart with it but Stormclaw will still be in that really early before phase so it doesn't interrupt which is so goofy I had that happen earlier today I got a funny clip Maybe I'll post that on the map. I don't really like posting clips anymore. Okay, that's a decent start. I have no clue how I ended up here. Jesus Christ. So much fucking white damage. Okay, this should break. Yep, okay. I just need to watch my pulse more. But the issue is, so I, I need to line up pulse on um, whatchamacallit, that final jab combo before the actual wound, and the thing is if I try and stop the wound early to pulse, it might not, not actually wound. It'd be funny if this snipe killed him. It did. Okay, I'm just gonna die. I'm not. I'm gonna stop reviving. But yeah, so <sighs> I need. I need to just rewatch my. I'll actually send the 43 and pin it in chat in case anyone wants to see what a good warpike run looks like. Cause I am very proud of the run itself. Oh, all right, hang on. Here it is. Almost. Okay, how do I pin this? Okay, there we go. Pin more importantly for myself, honestly, just so I can keep going back to it and watch it. Okay, I gotta watch closely for the position I am when he does a stand-up attack. I feel like I could position my first jab finisher too. Because sometimes it just super delayed wound and it shouldn't be. I think I might actually be standing too close on the armor. I thought I was standing too far, but it doesn't seem like that at all. Okay, we go again. Drop 42. Okay, hopefully this one ends a bit better. Or well, more than a bit. Okay, that one was ideal, let's say. No. Didn't get wound. Okay, that's really fucking annoying. Yeah, that's not what I want at all. What is he doing? Oh, okay, cringe orb. 
You know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna have him poop into my pile. What? That hit him square in the face for 13k damage and he didn't even flinch. No poop for me, baby. Very sad, very sad. Robbed? Mm, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't have gotten to that point anyway, though. I hate being in this weird limbo where it's like, I'll either get the wound late, and then I won't have enough time to do a full spin combo before the first dodge, and then if so, the, the leg break is so delayed it kills the run, and then in other runs, it's like the leg break just comes insanely early, because I, um, positioned wrong when I was doing the the second poke combo on the front leg. And then I really need to rewatch, so I had, the, I think I had like two or three runs now, I, th I think it was just two, where the, where the, both the back leg and the front leg broke without a missile, which should not by any means be possible, that should be extremely rare crits. So just since I got two in quick succession, I feel like something happened just because it would be extremely unlikely to be that lucky twice. So I need to go back and inspect those bad boys and see what actually happened there. It's actually hard to account for crits with Karabak though because there's so many other damage numbers. Like checking if you critted above average or not is kind of hell. Okay, that's decent ward. Not a bad wound either. That's perfect spin. Yeah, this is perfect wound combo too. Okay, but where's my leg break? Okay, that's awesome. I'm on the wrong fucking side, and I can't missile. I, th I actually tried to stop the pulse early there. Yeah, like, that's just... Oh my god. Unbearable. Okay, well now I have pulse for this missile, at least. This is gonna expire right here, isn't it? Yep. The moon expired right as I hit the missile, that's why I hit for 7k. Even without pile on it, it'll hit for like 9k on a pulse on south, so. Okay. Well, Tato 3 is rough like that, so my Blitz Tonic runs out. Okay, so by default it's 60 seconds. Catalyst 3 is effectiveness, not duration, but then Slayer's Path gives me 25% duration, so quarter of a minute, 15 seconds, so it's it's 75 seconds. But um, there's of course the I'm doing three or four break strat, so it's like 70. So like in a good run, uh, my potions would still expire like 55 on the timer. I guess. So it's kind of lame. So like, if I actually mess up and I want to keep playing just to see like, you know, how how low health the behemoth was, so that I can grasp like, oh, you know, maybe if I didn't make this small mistake, it would have died at this time. You know, um, I can't really accurately do that because of I'm um, this build is Catalyst Three, and uh, unfortunately, there's nothing I can actually squeeze out either. Like. Cunning 6, this is a cell, really bad at plus 3. Also, like, all four of these cells are heavily dependent on being maxed. And then this cell, of course, is from the weapon, so I can't take it out. So, yeah, Catalyst 6, unfortunately, it's not a choice for me. The only option I really have is taking out Pred for, like... I think I'd have to do, like, Zerk and Overpower. I don't think I could swap out, like... Fred for like one cell. I think there's. I'd actually have to swap it up for two. Don't think there's a way to swap it up for Kata. I don't know. Might be worth a try. Zerk three would actually be quite good because it would just make my revenant um sort of come back faster. 
in a situation like this behemoth where my second weapon is never going to hit all five tendrils because the behemoth is just not that long. Like, every single time, my, my poke combo just happens to end at, uh, when I have the worst possible pull stacks, and that, hap that happened right as I ran out of Sav. Like, that's the thing I was talking about, or, like, you hit the behemoth, but you're too early. So it doesn't, uh, you know, you get robbed. Yeah, just the second break right now is really fucking pissing me off. I have to do that. Um, I know what I have to do. I, I just have to do that. H that hit? Are you... What? How? Did my revenant reflect an orb? That should not be possible. Come equip that. Hang on. I'll be right back. It's so stupid that PlayStation requires you to pause the stream to clip something, but, um... Yeah, that's not something that's intentional, I believe. Or I think it would have to be, because that seems like something hard to code, but, um... Very surprised that happened. But yeah, so what I need to do, I need to spend less time repositioning for that poke finisher is the thing. Or I just need to spend less time in between, because I, I need to have, like, a full second after my poke to readjust my pulse. Because the pulse, like, if the pulse ends on, you know, 4, four to 5 after the combo, that's perfect, ends on 3 to 5, and it has to do one poke after dodging and rage, that's okay. If it's, you know, 2 to 5, then it should do one spin after and rage. It's kind of okay, but if, I, but if it's, like, on 1 out of 5 or 0 to 5, it's impossible, like, the run is just fucking dead. Which is pretty unbearable, so basically, 2 out of 5 chance, the run is completely just <laughs> flop. But yeah, if I can find a way to do the poke finisher just a bit earlier, so I can like safely like have an extra half second there to readjust my pulse, then, then I'm good. What happens in my 43, I believe, is the, it just literally lines up perfectly. I just get insanely lucky. Oops. Which is just... Sad. It's really funny to think the So the top pike build doesn't use pulse at all. There's no guaranteed crit, it's all RNG, and yet that strat miraculously seems more consistent. Okay, this is the worst one. CCS Stormclaw, he had his head facing me after the dupe, which just spawns him a lot further away. This time I can't even rev because I'm just not the wrong side. He's like, where's the cooldown on these attacks, buddy? Are you shitting me? Okay, well, this run is fucking... No enrage? Okay, he is shitting me indeed. This is probably the worst run I've ever had in my entire life. That time was so unlucky, like... Not, no, that, that was bad for me. But uh, what happened there with the poke? Both pokes, both pulse, sorry, both poke combos. Ended on a perfect pulse. That 13k must have been on the head. Okay, so um, I was saying both. Uh, that's so funny there. That um, so I love how like this stupid behemoths. Um, it, it's boop. It just goes so far that like it always. Same thing with Emberman. It just like pretty much always goes into the wall. And because it does that, um, what should I call it? No, I just happen to get pulse sync on uh, this one. Full sync for 700 damage. That is pathetic. Anyway, I was saying, you, you can just never get full revenant because the behemoth goes, it has its dumbass front legs up on the wall. He's like presenting and shit. But it's badass to that wall, so you can't hit that with the revenant because the revenant doesn't go up. But the behemoth does because the game is made for the behemoth, I guess, not for the player. Die. Oh well, I guess I was talking to myself there, but I'm lucky. Yeah, that was not the tempest. 
I played this strat enough today. I think I'll just upload the run tomorrow. Just live with it. Here, let me change the title. Oh wow, I actually can't on mobile at all, can I? That is really disappointing. There's no no setting for that at all. That's cringe. I think I have to. I can't even run YouTube Studio on my phone. Um, I guess I'm. I don't know. I'll play Pike until like an hour, maybe. Yeah, that's just so dumb. Why can't you do something as simple as changing a title on mobile? Because I can't do it on PS4 either. You can only set the title. Just so weird because it's like, you know, that means they do have the, the shit to do it, but they just didn't want to get to the work of making you know slightly convenient for you. Well, I guess I could just make a more broad title, but that's no fun. That was actually the best drop I've ever had. Like that, that one was so good, you could see the first, um, the first poke was like almost didn't hit. There we go, this is perfect. Okay, that's actually not that perfect. No, I missed, oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. This better kill, oh my god. It didn't, okay. Well, life ruined. That was the only real good run I got. <laughs> wow, was that low. Okay, so there is a real chance that if I had actually just not, so that that second pulse missile, I meant to hit it on the broken part. But I missed it hit for 8k. If it hit on the broken part, it should have hit for another 13k. That actually might have just killed the behemoth. Like, uh, what was that? That might have killed it, like, I think, like, 39 or 40? The the best time right now is a 41 repeaters from Beta, and the best type pike is a 43 from Vexon. So, that would have been amazing. Mm. I'm just hoping it'd be top pike, but getting overall fastest for Revenant would be really exciting. And um, as for fastest, like, possible, um, there is a time not set from the, the current Stormclaw week from a previous one, but um, the everything about the strategy has not been changed, so it's, you know, in theory it's definitely possible to repeat. But people are slower than it, and that's uh, that's the sword time. Surprisingly, not just cosplays. I believe there was three different people that had. I think they had 35, 36, and 38. Cosplay can't seem, and uh, I don't remember his username. It had um, I believe it had Chinese characters. I I met the person that posted it, but uh, I I don't remember what their name was. But um, yeah. So there's the potential's a bit further than that, but. The strategy is the sword strategy is drastically harder, so no one has you know put in the time to grind for it uh, recently. Okay, I just want to do the dumb standing thing. Like, can he just? Oh my god! Why? I mean, I guess I can do this, but. Nope, I can't. Look at all that white damage. Yeah, this run is fucking dead as hell. This 
wow, I just I just saw the number there at the end. And it was white damage, it was 7k. This should break right here, surely. Really? There we go. That's so awesome that he like puts me to the other side right as my care back comes back so I can't store the pulse. Okay. Look how low the missiles damage is without pulse do. Like you can hit for the highest I hit so far was fourteen uh, K. But it was actually without the revenant bonus, so I don't know. Because revenant bonus is uh the forty four percent damage on Stormclaw, I believe, because of the length of it. And the build itself has a it has hundred and sixty five percent damage without the revenant, so extra forty percent, which would be one fifth of the total damage, so what's that hang on? Oh, I'm trying to remember what the multiplicative formula is. So if it's 40% damage, but then... I think it's equal to a third of that multiplicatively, so like, let's say roughly 13% multiplicative damage, so... 14 times 1.13... Shit. Okay, it might have been, uh... I guess like 1... 1. 5-5, five, five, very roughly. Maybe a bit more. So it actually doesn't really seem like that much of a big difference. Yeah, it would have only been a couple thousand damage at most. Probably not even. Oh. I don't know, though. that doesn't seem right. I think I probably just did the math wrong. It is... That shit came out of nowhere, too. Well, not completely out of nowhere, but like, my second fastest time wasn't even someone. So, it's kind of out of nowhere. N Why am I. S that's so cool, like, I get an amazing run, and then I fumble it right as I peek yours. Let's go, dude. Okay, this better break. I don't even think it hit. Okay, yep, it didn't hit. Like, genuinely though, like, it's so hard to not be mad about these horrific hitbox. Like, not on the attack, but just on the party, like, it's a mi like, the missile, it, like, it shows you it's precise, like, it's it's pretty much the precise, most precise hitbox in the entire game after, like, repeaters and, like, striker's bolt, but, like, in reality, it's just not, like, I don't know why it isn't, like, it, it would be so fun if it was, because it, it's, like, this tool to, like, you know, uh, pierce through the terrible development job of all of the parts in this game. But like the stupid Stormclaw arm, it's just why is it like so skinny, man? Like why I just don't get why it can't be wider. That's another reason I really, really want to do front arm first strat, because the back leg is just so much easier to hit with a missile, but the the front arm's hitbox is so bad that it it's actually noticeable even for the poke combo, which is insane. Yeah, the second payload, you pretty much have to have your jab combo line up for. Like, it's so bad. It's, I don't know, it's not as consistent, inconsistent as it seems. Like, I, I've had it, like, happen, like, more than ten times. Um, the, the lucky part was getting the break to actually knock it back into the pylon. Usually what happens is it knocks it out of the pylon, so that part was really lucky, for sure. But honestly... The luckiest part of the run, I think, is the having the pulse sync up perfectly for um, the, well, like when it teleports out, and then the unlucky, unluckiest part is holy shit, that was so good that that uh, orb reflect. The unluckiest part is I I get the wound to happen um right uh as the teleport happens, 
It's like I, I lose those four seconds of sap up time right there. Like, I swear to God, it, why am I doing this to myself? Like, you got, I didn't even, I missed that one intentionally because it wasn't fully charged. Like, look how low it is, man. The weirdest thing is I've had a couple runs this stream that make no fucking sense. Where, um, where the less, both legs have broken before I even payloaded. Like, I think I just got crazy care of Chris, I don't know. Okay, like, and he does this when I need to die. Oh my god, I'm, I'm resetting at peak. Okay, we go next. Get back to the strategy. So, um... Yeah, that's just painful, because, like... Dude, can you imagine if I, uh... I mean, dude, it, it's just... <laughs> I played Tempest for, I think, three hours this week, and I played Pike for eight hours today, and, like... The... <laughs> When you have a behemoth with hitboxes like this, it's so hard to not want to play Tempest. You're like, even Pike's poke is annoying on this behemoth's front arms. Like, now, like now, I see why so many people enjoy repeaters. Like, you know, I, I, I like, I, I, I have a lot of salt towards repeaters. But like, at the end of the day, like, you get to like play probably like, you know, the. Like, it, it just must be nice, like, shooting at something and then actually being rewarded for your skill. Like, you aim at something and then it actually hits. Whereas on Pike, it's like, you know, you can aim at, like, like the same pixel and it feels like sometimes it just won't hit, bro. Cough, cough. I don't want to see skill issue in my chat, bro. That better not be the message that's loading right now. Honestly, like... The saddest thing, like, nah, nah, they're, they're sadder things. How ruthless was car dictator? <laughs> Said Dan Hussein. That's very silly, Vergarank. Thanks for popping in. How are you doing? Are you like back in Donalds? I was so surprised when you like talked to me again after like two years. Oh my god, that's the first orb I've messed up in an hour. I should feel pretty good about that. But anyway, um. Man, that was crazy, like... <laughs> it was still so funny to me that you responded to the happy birthday message three years later. I felt so cool for, like, remembering your birthday and sending that message, like, on the dot at midnight in your time zone. And then when you didn't respond, that shit... I mean, I don't even remember it, but I, I bet it crushed me. I bet it completely crushed me, dude. <laughs> uh, well, I asked if you were back to Dauntless. You said you're doing good. So I guess that answers that. You're definitely not back on Dauntless. Um. <laughs> uh. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any questions beyond that. I'll just go back to ranting about the strat, I guess. Ooh, the other crazier thing is this actually started as, as a I think I'll play soon. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't. That's because um, on PlayStation, every time you stream, your about me is copy pasted as the stream description. You can edit it, but like, the thing is, you have to manually delete to clear it. You can't like, you know, uh, triple click with a mouse or something. You have to manually delete it with the PlayStation controller or hold backspace on your keyboard, which is still extremely slow. And um, my bio is uh, is character limit. I specifically made it exactly character limit. That's kind of a thing I do. I usually make all of my bios exactly to the character limit. Um, the number two is referencing Hitano. Because Hitano got... Hang on, let me focus. Fuck off. I believe you, Erg. Anyway, so I was saying, so the number two tag. My bio has a leaderboard of everyone that's ever finished rank one with Pike. <laughs> Which looks so funny. Like, I, I shouldn't have put. I should have just said, you know, one of five people to only ever do this. And I shouldn't have put the the, the reason it's only five people is is because cosplay does it ninety percent of the time, and the the other four of us are just people that happen to be playing when cosplay didn't want to. <laughs> Which uh, a little bit of a funny moment there. But uh, yeah, and uh, I had the the number two is an honorable mention. There are not three strikers players. 
Actually, no, no, you're right. There's Basti, Gaza, and that one other guy that has the 22 on Tempest right now. That guy. Uh, remember last Stormclaw, Dark Morad played Bolt, which I thought was cool. That was actually what inspired me to play Pulse. Sorry, that's what inspired me to play Payload. Uh, anyway, he got a... Uh, that's not Strikers. Well, I didn't sound Strikers, I just said, you know, that guy that has it this time on Tempest. Uh, he didn't play Tempest on Strikers, he didn't really play Strikers at all, which is pretty surprising. Then no one did, because this is, uh... This trial is, like, one of the most strikeriest trials ever, like, even in the heat of Repeater's meta. Well, no, not in the heat of, but, you know, right after Repeaters got nerfed a bit, Strikers ended up still being good on this channel. Okay, there we go, that's perfect right there. Yeah, that's the earliest time possible, I can tell, because I'm going to poke. Be a cheese. That's all top 100 is, dude, nothing I feel bad about. That's just the game. It's a huge flex. Like, I don't know how, but my rev seems to always line up right here. Dude, it hit. Like, I'm, I want to see the damage number. Like, watch for the damage number, someone please. 8k, are you shitting me? <laughs> what a bastard, bro. Why did I do that? That was such a waste of a payload. That should have, like, 1 HP. Okay. Somebody needs to fuck off. He, he tries to do that shit where, like, he beelines to me. I hate that. I don't even know why I waste a rev there. I hit three. I guess he usually gets four, so you know, whatever. <laughs> That's so cool. I love when that happens. When he teleports away and then he dies. That sound was so satisfying that teleport into the death zone. He's getting Cosmo to give you his client without doxing him. Man, Cosplay disappointed me so much this week. He, I saw him play Rev Sword, and so I went to Master him. I asked if he played Scar and Scar and Sword because uh, on the previous um, Shock Behemoth week there was a Scar and Sword as the top time, or it was for a while. At the end of the week, it was still close behind. Though. It was it was proven that it was good. Um, so I was like, you know, maybe maybe you should try. This is the only thing that can be like good with Impulse, right? Because Galva and all. Um, and then he said he's not playing any sword. He didn't say not any more sword, which confused me. Like, is the person with, like, this, the weird C cosplay actually him? Like, did he, what was last week? Drask. I guess it would have been Thunderdeep, but I was specifically talking about Drask. I just forgot about Thunderdeep. This is the deadest the game will ever be, Vergerans. And right now, top five is, like, two seconds apart. This is a really competitive week, though. The thing is, the game will always be dead on behemoths people don't like, but even on, like, even, like, the game right now is definitely the deadest it's ever been. But, like, Shroud was atrocious. I mean, there's been some really bad ones, like Umbro Koshai. What? Were you, I was, you, I said last shock week and you asked last week, so I assumed you meant uh, which last shock week I was talking about. If you meant last week, last week was Phalanx. I don't know how you missed last week then. Yeah, I guess I just confused you there. Do you, like, dude. I, I can't put up with this, like... Okay, Vergrants, have you, have you seen Tempest yet? If, if you haven't seen Tempest yet, I'm gonna play Tempest just for you, because this is pissing me off. I, I don't want to play this, I'm not having fun. Let me know, Vergrants, have you seen, uh... The Tempest times where the Behemoth dies in four shots? Do you want to see me kill a Behemoth in Trials in four Tempests?
Okay, you're in for a pretty cool surprise, then, buddy. Right after this awful run, holy shit. How- can someone tell me how, like, I boop him towards me and he flies in the literal opposite direction? Since Trevor? What did I miss? Never seen this. Oh, never been the same since Trevor and... Robot quit streaming. Did Robot actually quit streaming? He still uploads just on a second. It actually really pisses me off. Like, I, I thought this was finally the end of him, because he made a second, like, a fresh new channel for Dauntless, and it's growing so fast. Like, it's clear his first channel is not a fluke. This guy is here to fucking stay. I don't know, like... On one hand, I really wish the developers would just ban him, because they already blacklisted him, but, like, he would he would just be a martyr, man. I, I don't know. I don't think he ever left Ferg. He said the game, like, you know, didn't pay the bills and stuff, like, his, his Dauntless videos are still by far his best performing, so... Even on a smaller channel. Yeah, let me show you Tempest real quick. But anyway, I was saying, so... What happened? Too much, man. I'm saying real real Asian robot came back, not Trevor. I don't even think Berg was here when Trevor left. Berg left a long time ago. Berg left before I left in 2021. Yeah, that was so funny. I saw that on Twitter. Someone was making a joke about his name, and it's like, oh, you chose that shit. I mean, it doesn't mean it's like, you know, open fire or anything. Oh my god. I just want to do that to flex on you. Like that I have know how to do that. I can, I can poop the, the orb with the slowest up in the game. Kind of a giga chat. What can I say? Why do I have pulse 3? Does anyone know I have pulse 3? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Wow, I did not know that was- Did you see what I just did? That sh To be clear, um... So I actually- I did Pulse Sync before the Antique expired. Uh, with Pulse 3. Uh, that should not be possible. Yeah, Element, I did Pulse 3, and my second Tempest still hit for full damage. I don't know if you noticed, but like, it, I hit my second Tempest before the Antique Movement Speed buff actually ran out. Um, did I just accidentally figure out a new strat by trolling? The only issue is that on Stormclaw, we don't need more damage, like being able to give up extra perk economy literally does nothing. You literally have to l intentionally lose damage on this trial. Because it dies too fast otherwise. What is your second last message rep replying to? Are you saying you can also call the whole community racist? Is that a flex? Yeah, the plus three was not intentional. Why? Oh, it's because I have an extra fleet footed in here. Don't know how that I got there. Oh. Nah. That just means you're cool too. I don't think 99% of people can do that. Because I couldn't. <laughs> and I just refuse to believe I'm 99% of people, I guess. I'm, I'm only gonna ego hammer players because hammer's hard as fuck. Also forgot to empty my clip. But yeah, I, I don't know, that actually took me quite a while to practice, and I only learned about it from Frob. 
Yeah, I didn't even mean to bait orb there. Just, <laughs> it is not for your capping, dude. You're capping. Please say you're capping. What is bro looking at right now? Wrong direction, fuck. Like, dude. He's <laughs> so retarded. Holy shit. I'm not even gonna get wound. I'm not even gonna get pissed off at all. Real Asian robot was blacklisted by Phoenix Labs from the partner program. Like, they actually confirmed, like, he's never allowed in, like, he's banned. Like, they will never work with him. Which is awesome, because before, like, it, people would say, like, you know, oh, what's wrong with your real Asian, real Asian robot? And you would have to type, like, a 20k, uh, a 20,000 character essay on every bad thing he's done and why he's a horrible person and now you can just say like he's so bad that even the devs don't fuck with him but the thing is that doesn't really mean much because the devs don't even fuck with Captain Maelstrom and Captain Maelstrom is just <laughs> like how crazy that the only two people that I know that are blacklisted from the program are Real Asian Robot which is um I think inarguably the worst influence the community has ever had, by far, and Captain Maelstrom, who's like literally one of the most helpful people in the community. <laughs> you could even argue like literally the most helpful if we're talking about bug fixes. Like that guy has fixed so many major bugs. Like just like he's reported so many major bugs like on the test server like before they went live and like saved updates and stuff. And just general like he's just. He's actually just contributed so much to evolving the game's meta as well, on top of being a great player and also just helping people a lot, like, not even just giving. Um, that's a good question, let me get out my 20,000 character essay. The main thing is, like, well, not even, not even the main thing. So the thing about, like, build creators in general, is the meta in Dauntless is very stale, like, you can really only make a couple build videos that are actually sincere, and after that you're just pumping out garbage for content. Um, but you know, everyone does that, it's not a big deal, like, you know, even Oda does that. The, where's my damage? Okay. Hang on. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Good to know that was gonna happen, actually. Okay, I'm gonna boop this. I bet you can't do this one, Element. <laughs> Guess I can't either. Have you really been playing for eight months? Do you not know about what I did then? Like, do you not know why I'm uh, why I'm banned from a uh, Texas server? I'm not gonna talk about because I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like explain why I mentioned it, but I mean like I'm not mentioning it as a flex. Like it genuinely was an insanely bad mistake that I regretted <laughs> for a very long time. Yeah, I remember you get- that's why you stopped playing the game, is you got banned from everyone's server. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll just give you a direct quote from Texas. He said the reason it was the most com- I forget if he- he might have said most competitive week he'd ever seen, let me check. But, um, he said everyone wanted to knock me down. No exaggeration. He said, like, let me go peep this. Um... But yeah, he, he pretty much confirmed I actually like uh, officially pissed off everyone, which is crazy because like I didn't even talk to everyone. Like I just all I wanted to do was piss off Texas because I was mad at him, and then uh, everyone else thought I was being egotistic, which I mean, not to say I'm not, but I had top ones before that, and I never acted like a dick to anyone. Like I just really had a problem with one person. And I mean, I wasn't ass about it, but where's I going with this?
He did not say that to you. Oh, well, oh, there's my stupid fucking bonus. Holy shit. Has he ever revealed his forehead? I don't think that's a thing. I didn't know that was gonna hit me. Okay, I'm getting pretty fucking bust off with Tempest. I might just go to sleep. I've been awake. Oh, I've been awake 16 hours, but I really want to get a better time. I don't have to DM because I didn't. That's different. That's just because no one liked you. That doesn't mean everyone hates you. That just means no one likes you. That's crazy, though. I was a mod at the time, and I don't remember there being a vote. Maybe there was like an ultra secret mod chat. Or maybe it was a public vote and I had pings turned off. I don't think I did that because I used that server 24 7. I had 40k messages in like three months. But yeah, back to the Asian robot thing. Um, the guy doesn't know that game that well, and he actively spreads misinformation about it, which is like, people make mistakes, right? And, you know, correcting them kind of makes you, you know, sometimes a bit of a dick, even if it's educational content. But what makes you more of a dick is if you respond to people correcting blatantly incorrect information by banning them from your channel, which is what he did. Like, okay, well, he wrote me a bigger essay, so, here, Mom. Uh, I mean, I wrote him a way bigger essay first, which is an apology. I was actually surprised he was like willing to hear me out honestly. He was uh for all for all I did honestly he was uh he was more than you know reasonable about it. I'm not mad about how he reacted, which <laughs> I'm just sad. Where's my dodge stack, please? I hit it like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm fucking here. 2k damage, cool, cool. Alright. I'm gonna hit it this time. That didn't even hit it, I didn't even not trade either. I said okay, then blocked him. I don't think that happened. Did you think he was gonna respond to the okay? I think he was gonna be like, actually, it's not okay. I hope you didn't block me because I have an important response to say. If you'd be like that, I don't think he'd be like that. Anyway, so back to Asian robots. Yeah. Um, people correct this guy's information, and then he will hide them from the channel so that they can't comment again, so no one can see their comments. <laughs> Okay, I believe you. Resident troll vagrants, keeping it real. But anyway, so yeah, um, he just doesn't let anyone correct him. And then the other thing, I don't know why I didn't mention this first, but like, to be clear, like, this is a guy that like, ex charges people actual money for dog shit builds that he like, misleads people with and just lies about. Like, well, not I can't say lies about because like it's. Yeah, it's, not, it's malicious. It's not that malicious. He's, he just doesn't know that much because he doesn't care that much to study the game, I guess. Or just, I don't know, doesn't care to take um, education from anyone. He banned me for saying Ola in his Twitch chat. I mean, to be fair, why would you say that to him? Because he's from, like... Yeah, I don't know, actually. He's from Singapore. I don't know what language Ola is. So actually, yeah, I don't know shit. Let's talk. Okay, let's let's get a 10-16 this run. Show you a cool Tempest, and then we'll go back to my in Spanish. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, you gotta be fucking shitting me. I'm 
this dog shit game is really pissing me the fuck off. Uh, please just break, oh my god. I said hello and got banned. I mean, I would do the same, dude. Saying hello is kind of a bit intrusive, I won't lie. I would never say something like that to someone, especially a stranger. You know, that thing people, that there's that saying, you know, don't be a stranger. What they mean is that don't ever say hello to Asian Robot on dauntless.youtube.com. That's actually what they mean. Oh shit, I left my mangoes out for too long. Hang on guys, I gotta check my mangoes, I'll be right back. Damn, these are some good mangoes. Okay, I just checked them. But yeah, I'm playing like complete shit, I'm not gonna... I don't know. This is also the worst time to be up, like I should just go to sleep early so that I can stream again tomorrow morning. I'm off all day tomorrow, so mukbang? No. I don't know, I feel pretty indifferent to it. That's why crickets taste better when they eat. I mean, it's only 11. I'll go to sleep if the views dip more. Now I'll just, you know, collect a couple free watch hours while I eat some mangoes. Your motive function? I know, that's why. I, the only reason I want to go to sleep is that I'll play better. That's literally the only reason, dude. Why are you so smart? You always seem so silly. I guess you did, like, go to school for, like, two years since I last met you. Are you smart now? That's hardly disappointing. I was hoping you would always be as dumb as me. Dumb behemoth, holy fuck. Oh, he actually knocked me to the other side, that's interesting. Act the dumb to stay smart. That actually is the meta, you're not wrong. Man, well, that's the fastest run I got so far, but like, the, s the start was literally perfect. The thing I did wrong there is the exact same thing I did wrong in my 53. Very disappointing. So, I'm in a pretty big predicament. Yeah, actually, I don't care about explaining to you. I actually want to hear about you right now. Hang on. You're on a good sleep schedule. Keep it before it's late. Don't worry, nerf myself. you like, what do you actually study? Like, I'm actually curious. Like, what are you into? I was just joked around you. I never actually got to know you, though, which is pretty weird. It's just not weird. I only knew you for, like, two months. It's weird that I still know you. Fuck, these are some good mangoes, so these are gonna increase my reaction time for sure. <sighs> I wish those guys that talked about ASMR earlier were still here, they would love this. I should have told them to hold out for the mangoes. Biomedical, <laughs> holy shit. That's like the thing, man. Or the thing that everyone like begs their kids to like go to school to be. That's cool. I can't believe you're actually gonna contribute to this uh the society and shit. It's always the people you least expect, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty rad, actually. Pretty badass, not gonna lie. Oh my god. Hitbox is so bad, I think I just have to do an instant. Jesus Christ. I traded a missile. That's kind of impossible. After you retire, you're playing Dauntless? Dude, can you imagine? <laughs> Roadmap. Okay, so like, imagine this. Like, you need, like, a heart surgery. And then Virga's, like... Virga's just chilling there playing Dauntless in the hospital. And he's like, nah, man. I made all my money. I'm finally doing what I love now. Fuck you. And then you just, like, die there. While Virg is just rocking out on the Dauntless, deteriorating his mental health. I <laughs> did a collab with the devs. And in 2027, uh, I'll finally stop saving people's lives to come back and play this piece of shit game and tell you all to go fuck yourselves. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure that devs will embrace you at the open. The devs will be so mad that someone that plays the game actually contributed to society. Because I bet they think everyone that hates on the game is degenerates. But the developers are actually the degenerates because they make Dauntless. Chief Surgeon. <laughs> Chief Surgeon. Is that a thing? We need you in the OR. No. <laughs> That's wild, man. That's wild. That one's definitely going in the Vergerance number three funny moments uh, vid. Man, that was me during exams, Pangar week. I don't know why, but Chief Surgeon just sounds so funny to me. I'm fucking Captain Heart Transplant, you know? Yeah, man, that's awesome. Happy you're, you're, you're doing something like that. Hope all's going well for you there. Hope you're enjoying it, too. The most important part of being a, ha um, a surgeon is to have fun. That's the first rule of uh, saving lives, actually. That is very interesting. What just happened to me there? This lag better be really fucking low. Holy... Dude! That round was so bad and it's 47. That's crazy. Well, so now I guess I'm like second pike and also like fifth pike. I'll clip that, hang on. That's a shame, man. When I'm at peak viewers, I can't even sub one. When I'm at lowest, I get the best run. Hey, that rhymed. Devs are degens because they added on these souls and a rework champions. First rule of my life is never taking work home. Second is working from nine to five. No more. Imagine. Have you like played the game in a while? I don't like to flex on people. But I think you don't actually care, and maybe you'd just be proud of me. But, um, I won, I think it was, I won uh, nine weeks of trials in the last couple months.
and then I had top two on eleven of them. I was a uh, top two for I think it was like three months straight, which is pretty funny. The funniest part was I got second to different people every time. Like you'd think it was all cosplay, but I actually got second to like six different people, which is crazy. Almost all of them was on the last day in the last five hours too, which is so agonizing. One of the ones I won, I actually won in the last seven minutes though, which was insane. Holy moly guacamole. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why don't I have a wound? How the fuck is it that late? Oh, not not in a row, but I mean in a short period of time. Like in the last couple of months. How did that not break? It was that well. That's true, that's actually true. Man, this behemoth is the dumbest shit every time he gets up. That's so funny that it knocked me back into the fucking thing. Cause the missile knocks you back every time you shoot. But yeah. Pretty proud of that I guess. I don't know, like, I say it, because, like, you know, it's a good number, but, like, it's never a spot I ever expected to find myself in, and I just, I don't know, those make me happy at all. I'd say that's kind of the main reason I'm flexing, because I'm, like, trying to get some happiness out of it, but there's, like, none, bro. Oh... <sighs> Playing Axe has been fun though. It was the same before that. Before the buy, I got a ride home. How are this is so weird? Like you always say you're in school, but like this is the latest I've ever. Don't don't worry about Berg. Thank you for tuning in. Have a nice night, peace, bro. Good luck with the the biomed studies. See you in three years, Berg. I'll make sure to wish you happy birthday again. Make sure to not reply again. These mangoes are so good. Oh, fuck, bro. Does, do you guys think mangoes have any health benefits? Like, these things just feel... I don't know, this these taste way too good to actually be good for you. What? Where did the orb go? I'm so confused. Where did the storm cause brain go? Holy shit. Can't be that actually happened. He usually misses that shit. Awesome. Nice hitbox, bro. Look at this gameplay, guys. You guys join this. Look how much accuracy me and Stormcloud have. Holy shit, I hit one. Haha, <laughs> Stormcloud didn't hit. Score's up for me now. I'm not gonna look at the screen, I'm just gonna pry this works up here, guys. Why well, heard a noise, did I get him? Let's go. I got him, okay. Now I have to kill myself. Well, hang on. So let me raise a point to you. So I don't think that. In fact, I don't think at all. And I just had some fruits. So really, what does that say about fruits? And about you as a valuable source inf of information. No, he did this. I'm going to outrun it, guys. Look at me. I'm so fucking fast. Oh, shit. 
I had to stop. Yeah, you can't catch me now, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good luck, buddy. Look at him trying to thunder dash him. How did I sprint for that long? <laughs> I just realized that I was sprinting for like 15 seconds. Oh my god. Ah! How did he hit? Guys, is Stormcloud cheating? Well, anyway, but like. These are like frozen store bots, so I think they should be good. Like, they're not like, you know, fresh market, but they're like. They're like frozen store bot, like from the freezer section frozen. So I think that means they're good, right? Like, they're not like processed, no? They're great value, the Walmart brand, that's the main concern I have. Because the Walmart is. So, you know, you know how that goes. Tough sell there. Yep. But, um, I mean, what kind of vitamins are we talking? Like, the kind that you like, um, you know, great value is peak. Great value is greatest defender out here. Shit. Didn't know. My bad. Sorry, Chief. And I was saying, you know, you know what they say about vitamins, right? You know, you can't overdose. So, why vitamin when you can, um, Vitamax, right? You know. So, um, if you guys see, like, a, like, a big bottle of vitamin gummies, you should just take them all. You, you won't die, I promise. I think you will, but it'll be funny. I, I was, like, um, huh. Excuse me. I don't know why I like, um, uh, well, yeah, one of these days, um, there's actually not a lot of days, I don't know why I say that one of these days, like, you know, it's only like seven days, bro, like, what do you mean one of these days, I just say the day, bro, not that hard, right, am I wrong for that, what do you guys think, Does any of you guys think? Pretty weird if you guys have thoughts, you know. First, I've never been about that life. Holy shit, I can't do the head. Like, how low is he, man? Please. I wanna know if I could've got four breaks there. I feel like I couldn't have, but it would've been very interesting. I feel like it's not possible. Let's see. I'm gonna stand outside of the Karabakh range like a fucking genius. Oh, never mind, I'm not. Oh, this is the wrong side, I'm stupid. He's gonna die right here, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Four breaks is possible to rev, but it's very tight. I don't think it's worth a fourth wound. It takes so long. <sighs> you don't have those personally? Okay, glad to hear that. I just grasp knowledge from ancestral blood memory whenever I'm challenged. Personally, I'm always challenged in the mental category. But there's that thing, right? They say, like, you need to be challenged to succeed in life, right? So I guess I'm not mentally challenged enough. Someone once said to me, get some retarded. I assume it's a typo, I don't know what for. But I've always lived by those words. I've always tried to get some, as get some retarded, you know, like, you know, if I'm, like, popping by, like, a, you know, like the Mini Mart or, like, the quick stop at the gas station, I'm like, you know, y'all got any retarded? I can really stock up, you know, need to get some retarded, so. It's kind of how it's been lately, you know, you feel it, I suppose. <sighs> These last few mangoes kind of fell off, like, 
do you guys notice that like if you've been like listening closer to the sound you can probably tell from the texture it's just it's just not the same anymore like clearly clearly they need to change in you know, a grade value to like a more like you know irate value because it, it irritates me because it's 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 not great anymore like what's up with that so yeah overall having a not too great experience with that kind of ruining my day to be honest I tried to poke there for the rev sync and that shit did not work at all. I could really actually use the, the shock teleport right now, but that's cool I guess. Thank you, Mr. Stormclaw. Really don't appreciate that personally, but you know. Each, not mine. How did that not hit, dude? Like, that was square on in the face. Okay, I want to see. Is there a way to make him... Okay, so that's why I get him to turn vaguely around. Wow, I actually broke that. Okay, maybe I will try head break. Okay, wouldn't I miss true? Slice mine goes from the store, always very in condition. Pretty sure a lot of them aren't from the same <laughs> Yeah, here's a mango mango from the mango tree. And you know, here's a mango banana from the from the factory tree and fucking Yeah, I don't need mango industry. I'm kind of losing it. I'm starting to feel like bird ranks and about like the less sleep you get. The more meep you get, you know? At least starting to meep right about now. Oh. I don't know, I'm like. I guess I can call it quits. I got, I got a, at least I got a 47 though. Sure, I got one good run, so it's not that bad, right? Mm. So sad though, because that one had so much potential. Johnny Martinez, YouTube. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Do you make YouTube videos? <sighs> okay, we go next. Okay, I'm really getting the hang of that now, that feels good. Shame that I'm just poking too early. Yeah, this is the worst wound I've ever had. That's crazy that the leg break still worked out despite the just absolutely horrific one timing. That Dude, I hate it. Like, it just doesn't make any sense out of the night head. Oh, well, at least we have, um, you know, full, full sync, right? How did I get on this side? Like, what happened? No, like seriously, how is that white damage? Please, someone fucking explain to me. Oh my god. It was that low. That's just unbearable, frankly. I have a pretty cool idea this week. So Cosplay had a video with the strategy from like six years ago, and he has this really cool music sync with the teleport explosion from the missile. I'm gonna use that exact same music sync. I think I might even try to um. 
I think I might try to actually wound the head so I get like a really big damage armor. I think that'd be super cool because if I can wound the head, my missile would hit for, uh, I think it hits for like 20, 25k, which is pretty beefy. Look awesome, I think. I don't know how much health the head has, I think it's like 40k. So, you know, pretty crazy if so. Would be super awesome. The coolest part about the head, though, is just the rev value. And not having to reposition after poop. And also, I guess, the value of the pulse rocket, honestly. I suppose it would make the part focus a lot better, because I'm not wasting, like, 10k damage on nothing. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting, like, so much more consistent with that. I'm very happy about that. for letting me know, I guess. Did that not hit? That definitely should have hit. Okay, I guess it did hit. Holy shit, man. The Revenant missile hits for half the damage of the payload. That does not make any sense. I don't know why I'm saying that. The missile is literally exactly half the MV actually hit me. Excuse me. So the missile, I think, is 1250 base, 1375 with um munitions. Oh, no, sorry, it's 1200 base, so 1500 with munitions. Whereas Rev is 700. Yeah, so if it was 750, it'd be exactly enough. But yeah, I'll I'll set a note notification. You guys should do a Discord event. It would look so funny if you actually put on like a Discord event that said Green Sesh. Like, that would have this whole squad laughing. No joke. Definitely do that. True. <laughs> I'm so lost, I forget what I said, bro. I don't think I have permission to set up an event. Okay. I mean, as I don't think Derp is gonna <laughs> decline setting up a goon sesh. He seems like he would totally be all for that. What you do? Why? How? Why do you have that? Do I have that? Let me check. That'd be so cool if I have that. I hope I have that. I really want. You should. You definitely should, 100%. Man, how does that always perfectly line up? It's so crazy. No way. Wow. Can't put that shit worked out. No 
No, fuck. Dude, like, it doesn't make any sense. Why? What's that hot behemoth again? Torgadaro, the one with the fat ass? Dude, I clearly meant to hit that. I'm not, I'm not even saying, like, it should have. I'm just saying, like, I meant to. Bro, but I totally meant to hit that. It was that low. You've got to be jarbling me, bro. Okay, I think Head Moon has been the way this whole time, and I've been trolling, not gonna lie. Look at that. No pulse gritty. That's how you know I'm bad. Dude, that is so crazy that that works, because, like, it totally shouldn't. Dude, I'm just bazzing on this guy's anger right now. I'm not even gonna cap. I name it. That's crazy you said that. No joke. When I, 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 I legit looked away and laughed at that exact thing. I just realized. <laughs> two, two of my straight friends have matching couple profile pictures of Andy and Lele, bro. That's so fucked up. <laughs> And, uh, whatchamacallit, I sound like a meme about that exact thing to one of my, like, other friends that he mentioned to me, that this friend that I'm talking about now, that has it successfully, uh, asked him, like, a week, a a week ago to do Andy and Lele profile pictures. He's, like, asking the whole fucking friends group for some reason. I don't know what that, what that's about. Maybe I don't want to. And then I, I later sent him a meme about fucking... Do you know the stupid Plants vs. Zombie meme with like the, the mods and the pea shooters and Don Pork, that guy? I feel like you probably do, it's pretty popular. Oh, there's like a, a meme about a couple of profile pictures for that and I sent it to him and he said real. Um, and then he didn't, ch hey, I was like, I wanted to do that with him and then he didn't change his profile picture. And then, uh, what you call it? And now I see, like, two days later, he did. Dude, why does it ever fucking hit? It's still not broke? Holy shit. Okay, buddy. Let's get those things as bad right about now. Let's go. Dead on the spot. Check the discard. Alright. craziest thing is like I just noticed he changed his like so my my discord pronouns are set to him slash him for real like you know the the meme I'm him like you know he's him he's that guy and I just noticed my um the guy I'm talking about he, he changed his recently to he dot 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 but I'll never be him I, I have no clue if it's intentional or not I, I want to ask him if it is and then he'll probably, like, think that mine was, like, in reference to his, even though mine was set months ago, so I don't know, maybe it'll be weird. So inspirational, yeah. It's also his birthday tomorrow, well, like, in, in 23 hours. I 
I need to like check my entire mutual friends list and servers and see who else has like the fucking the other side of the profile picture. That was weird. I think I did that one too early and something went wrong. Oh, that was really bad. I missed the last hit of that wall spring. Or sorry, that was a missile, but I charged it anyway. I feel like Funky Kong right now, the way I'm funking on this, uh, what the fuck am I talking about? How did I trade that? Okay, I think I really need to sleep. I'm overthinking something super hard. Every time you, like, revive from, like, Tragic Echo or Agarus, the behemoths, like, do this backup shit and it's, like, really annoying. Like, they just, like, forget you exist for, like, 10 seconds. Wow, that was a really lucky rip. This is, like, one of the coolest, like, semi-new techniques I've... I can't put the heavy semi-new techniques I've learned. Um, which is, so, if, if you revenant as a part breaks and you aim it in a certain direction, so normally when you revenant it goes through the center of the behemoth and it does mostly white damage, so you lose, you know, part value, like, you know, the behemoth's core health goes down, but the part health doesn't go down, and because of this it usually means you can squeeze out less part breaks before the behemoth dies than you would otherwise with a different omni cell. But, uh, so there's a strategy, right, so if you... If you revenant in the direction that a behemoth's part break animation will push them in, and that revenant, the first hit of the revenant, breaks apart, then that revenant will follow the behemoth and often hit the same part continually, because the revenant will be moving in the same direction as the behemoth's being knocked away, and that part is, of course, on the behemoth, so it's also going in that direction. It's, I'm, it's not complicated, I'm just bad at explaining it. But all you have to know is basically you aim the revenant to follow the direction of the part breaks animation instead of down. And another really good thing about this is um so there's a lot of behemoths where or a lot of times you'll be in a position where like so revenant is really long, you might not be able to hit the full thing on a behemoth. Um, especially if you're like on an angle, right? So this thing solves that problem, which is a huge, huge thing. So yeah, I think this is a super interesting technique. Okay, that's actually the worst one, too. I'm not sure why I'm so out of the groove. Maybe I am getting tired after all. Tight that. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. Oh my god, I had perfect pulse there, and then I fucked up everything. Did you see that? Why is he so far away? That was really strange. And now it's like, how do I get out of this dumbass cage, right? Isn't it so cool if you do like a full fucking combo in like the highest stage power creep the game has ever been to break a fucking pine cone? Interesting, I wish to get rid of Eva this. That's pretty true. Definitely pretty true, bro. Feeling a light. It's a big true on that one. Buzzing. 
Yeah, no one saw that coming. Especially not the behemoth, which I don't know what he is. Okay, hang on, let me peep the discard. I don't know, I really need an excuse to leave soon, just because, like, I, I don't want to be doing this forever, and I think if I don't stomp myself, I am gonna. Hi Awful, how are you doing? Hopefully not living up to the name. Man, I was getting jealous over the combo profile picture thing and I asked him about it and he pretty much confirmed my suspicion that he's actually just a little bit retarded and nothing was actually going on. So that's funny I guess. <laughs> That's pretty true. Welcome to the stream, Jess. How are you doing? God, this run could have been perfect. Oh. How low is it? How low is it? Oh, I can't see because of the pylon. Oh, this run was so good. Okay, better. If it's one health, I'm going to be very mad. Okay, thank God it's not one health. Okay, it was two health. <sighs> okay, that run was almost perfect. What I messed up there was my pulse sync at the end. I, th I think that could have... I don't know, it could have been top pike. I'm not sure if it could have beat Beta's repeater's time, but it would have been a new best for me. forgot to respond that. Uh, glad to hear you're chilling. I'm chilling a bit too much. I'm, I, should, I should really be going to sleep, but instead I'm just getting a little bit silly on Dallas, not really making any progress. I mean, that run was good, I guess, but, you know. Okay, we got X. Let's hope we can keep the momentum up. I feel like I'm gonna get a second wind and stay up forever. Yeah, so the goal is... Aw, oh, that one was bad. That's a shame. I had such a good streak of really good orb reflex. My screen blacked out there for me at a really bad time. Like, my TV, not my game. I hate when it does this attack twice in a row. Three times in a row, really? That is very strange. 
No enrage. How? Like, I, I don't get it. Do I really have to charge the missile for like three seconds every time? That seems really stupid. How low is the wound? Four hits. That's tough. I'm lagging like crazy right now. Feel like they've read from Little Caesars the way I'm, uh... Man, you guys should really go. I feel bad. You guys are like enabling like retardation. I keep forgetting to strike one for the pulsings. Cause the extra um twenty percent crit damage actually does make a bit of a difference. I always forget about that. Awesome for my care back to come back right when I'm trying to pulse sync some shit. Alright. Like that annoys me. I mean it's really funny it didn't hit me though. That's even funnier. I don't know why I did that. Oh wow, I didn't actually realize I stopped my life. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I need to dip. Immediately. Okay, Stormcloud dip first, we keep going. I tried doing runs, but nah, yeah, this trial's a bit rough. It's it's short, but it's rough. Skilly strike. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's the behemoth sky show. Can I see inventory? Yep. Just a moment. stuff. The four slots on the armor are all the same, so I don't think I need to show those. As of course the order doesn't matter. Very welcome. Enjoy your pike gaming. And the the pinned message has the recording of the the best run if you want to see what the strategy looks like. Okay, this is the perfect orb deflect that right there. That's how you get Stormcloud to spawn as close as possible. Oh, this is really bad. I didn't pulse my first missile. The what the fuck? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna reset that one. Yeah, that one was really funky. I got. I got. I think I got perfect boot, but um. Silly guy right about now. <laughs> uh, nice to see you here, Ravi. Uh, yep, ground in the midnight. This is probably the latest I've ever streamed. I don't know why. Surprisingly, a few people actually showed up at one point, but uh, I'm, I kind of just figured at, at this time of day, I'm. 
pretty much talking to myself constantly anyway, so no extra trouble to stream just in case, right? But um having a bit of fun playing Missile Pike. So pretty deep in the crit meta, so it's very, very rare to see Pike run anything other than crit special. And I managed to get a couple milliseconds away from beating the, the crit time with the missile time, so I really, really have been grinding it all day because I, I really want to show people that they're underrating missile. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I've actually never seen NW before. It took me a second to process that. I thought it was like a mix between YW and NP. Like, um, no problem and you're welcome. I thought you meant like no welcome, like you're not welcome or something. I just realized you obviously meant no worries. I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. No welcome would be so BM. No walkers. <laughs> Guess that works too. No walkers for the rest of your days. Always oh, white damage, bro. Look at that juicy 7k white damage. We do not like to see that. <laughs> okay, but maybe my reaction time is uh, tanking a little bit. <laughs> I just saw awful and a laughing emoji in the chat, and I, I just assumed it was someone calling me awful for that. I had to laugh because it was true. I just realized it's your name. Oh. Man, I missed the two, 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 two timer. Timer, that's a shame. But yeah, how are um? Wait, I think I asked it already and forgot, didn't I? Shit. Well, anyway, um, I um. Uh, yeah, shit, man. I'm kind of running out of thoughts. Not gonna lie. Damn, fourteen. Yeah, last storm claw. I was, I had a 15 on the last day, and then someone just got a uh, faster 15 in the last three hours. And I was molding. I was really happy this child's able to get 14 early. Um, we're hoping to get 11 seconds. So some background history. Um, when there was the Granny Stragus Heartbreaker potion, the fastest time on storm claw trial was 11 seconds, and that is possible to beat this week. But you have to like play perfect and we're, a lot of us are really really seeking that out um, if someone gets that it will actually be the the second fastest trial ever or you know the fastest trial in about uh, three years which would be really cool um, just the fastest trial in recent memory so a lot of us are um, grinding for that even though some of them don't really like Tempest, it would still be you know, a super cool flex so they're going for it anyway. I, I imagine some people in Crypt Pot were the same not too happy with the meta, but would like to set a sick record. Right. Okay, let's see if I can pulse sync this rev. No, I didn't even get the pulse. Wow. This should break right here. Wow, it didn't. Is that animation lock or? It's very strange. Okay, it'll break right here. Yep, okay, it was animation lock. That sucks. Okay, this is gonna break right here. Yep. Mm, I don't like this. Okay, that was a bit tight. Um, I guess I'll wound the other arm. I don't know. Maybe I should wound head. Oh, actually, no, that's how I didn't realize this arm was already close to a wound. That was really nice, that right there. Yeah, I must have damaged that arm earlier in the run, I didn't realize it. Okay, I still have Sav, so I'm gonna go... No, the Sav just right now, that sucks, okay. I'll just spin in between here to make sure all hits of my spin hit, I guess. Cool sentence. It's so cool seeing a behemoth in rage and then instantly die, like... Where's that energy at, bro? Where's that drive? Where's that power? Am I right? But yeah, so um, that's why Stormclaw's a pretty exciting week. 
Aber so... Mm, I've ranted about it like 20 times this week, but I just don't have anything else to say, and I think I haven't ranted to you guys about it so far, so I might as well bring it back up again. So the strategy this week is really interesting. Um, it's like, I would say it's like the final form of like Tempest optimization, really. So much so that I've... Uh, I want to say dubbed, but no one else calls it this, probably because no one else actually does it. But um, I've dubbed the term Storm Clawing because this was like the only trial in the whole rotation where it was necessary. But basically, so the Behemoth dies in four Tempests, but it's possible to get three part breaks. Um, so the first, the first two Tempests easily one shot, but then the second two Tempests, you have this trouble where they do just not not enough damage to one shot, and um. So basically, you know, you can't break apart with a hit, a tick of damage that kills the behemoth. So what we have to do basically is we have to, um, we have to intentionally miss um, two buffs. Like you have to miss um, two buffs on your last tempest. Well, it also matters which two buffs, but I won't get into it. Basically, you have to specific. Why am I lagging so much? You have to um, intentionally slightly lower your damage a tiny bit. Um, so that the behemoth ends up at like, less than 1% health after the final tempest, and this allows you to get an extra break. Like, I'm gonna reset, because this is... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna play with the no, no orb start. Um, so basically, I did the master storm class, 145k health, and um, the like non-tempest hits on hammer are about 500 damage. I think it was like... Uh, a third of a percent, roughly? A bit less than a third of a percent? I think it was like maybe 0.27 percent? Okay, I guess it's close to like a quarter. It's like, let's say like, so basically just think of it like this. You have to like precisely calculate to make your Tempest deal like 99 point, what's that, like uh, 73 percent of the damage? I think I think that's the number. Um, so basically, it's it's pretty funky because a lot of the buffs aren't stuff you can like precisely control either. Like you know, you can't make your you can make your mole and run out at a specific time, I guess, because you can know every you know when you're gonna hit it to trigger the spawn. Um, but like, okay, I guess you can control all of them, but like it's it's a lot of specific timings to juggle. So, and the thing is, it's like 99 per, not 99% but like the vast majority of your runs end up just being two break and then the last tempest kills the behemoth and it's like um the current fastest run has the behemoth die in literally one tick of damage like not not even like one like full attack from the hammer but the first hit of the hammer swing after the last tempest actually kills it which is which is perfect like the only thing he can do to improve that is um start the first tempest faster but uh the ending, the ending is beautiful. I think I think that's what's pinned right now, maybe? Or, wait. No, that was not the stream. Oh, man, my... Okay, I don't usually miss orb, even when I mess up other stuff, so I think I, my brain is kind of going on on the train. But, yeah, um, just what I was getting to is I think it's one of the most um, precision-related strategies ever in Trials. Like, I mean, there's been other strategies precise, but th those are, like... The thing about the Tempest strat is there's no crit RNG in it because it's it's you just run pulse and no other crit. Like obviously there's the two percent crit from the Slayer's path, but you do less than fifty hits in the entire run. So on average you will crit less than one hit per run. So critting virtually doesn't matter. Like hold on, let me think what the actual math. So you do uh, four. Okay, so four Tempest, and then you stack Pulse five times in the run, because the first one for the Aether Slam, technically. So, four, eight, twelve, twenty... Twenty-four hits. So, yeah, basically, you would have one crit every just over two runs, on average. So, yeah, virtually, uh, the crits you would never have to worry about. But it's so precise that one crit would actually mess it up, so it's tough, like... But yeah, it doesn't really matter. But um, I was saying, uh, I, I just, I'm saying like it doesn't make that much of an influence. I mean, maybe. But uh, yeah, something like there's other, there's been other strats with extremely precise break and kill timings like that where you really just like, um, 
uh, also on Stormcloud, there's that crazy four break strat cosplay hat on the first Stormcloud after the repeaters rework. It was two weeks after the repeaters rework. Very famous week because um, Beta Vichinsky, if you guys don't know, he's probably like the least known like goat player because he doesn't up. Why am I like? Why am I doing it so late? That's so strange. Not sure what's wrong with me. Anyway, um, this beam keeps missing. Okay, I'm not gonna like make an essay on how good beta is, even though I want to. Cause I, I'll, I'll ramble back on that later. I just wanna get to my point first. So beta, hell tricks, and cosplay all got a 40 second time on this specific trial and I'll upload it. And it was, it was pretty, they were also really close to the same amount of 40. Like they weren't like a full second apart. I think they were like a third of a second apart between the three of them, which is insane. Anyway, so th this strat was crazy because you get the final break literally two bullets before the behemoth dies and you fire. I'm going to say very rough guess. It would have been about, uh, I think like 11 clips of ammo the whole run. Because it was like just, it was like each about two and a third per, um, per limb. That's four breaks. So. Let's see, what's that? 11 clips of 12. 12 times 12 is 104. Minus 12, that's 132. So, two bullets out of 132. So, okay, hang on, that's actually some hard math. I'm gonna make a very. Actually, no, I don't need to make a rough estimate. Hang on. So, 2%. Like a third. I think it'd be about 1.6 percent. Almost exactly 1.6 percent, actually. Because I think 133 and a third would be 1.6 percent. So um, uh, wait, what was I doing the math for? Fuck. God, I'm so lost. Bro. Right. Okay. So it means you had to um. I did do the final heart break when the Beemoth had 1.6% of health left, which is just crazy. I missed like most of the poke combo there. Bit of a shame. Seriously, not hit. Guess it did hit, and I'm just bad. Is it really not dead? Man, that is so sad. I actually thought this one was really good. Guess I'll never know. I think the start was really bad, but then the middle was really good. Huge shame. Huge fumble. But I'm not exactly sure what I want to change. So the thing I'm thinking about doing is, um, I might, uh, so if I do head wound, it's hard, it's really hard to say. I think. Fuck. Okay, so I. After the second break, I have just enough time to do, like, one wound combo. And, like, a couple pokes before it, like, teleports away to do the teleport back boop. And the head has a lot more health, um, and wound health. But, like, maybe if I crit really good, I could. I could wound the head in almost one combo. If so, then like, what you might call it? It's like if I can actually like the head is harder to wound, but well, it'll actually be. Sorry, hang on, I'm, I'm yawning like shit. But um, so the head has several. The, the horns on the head, not the head itself, because they're two separate parts, or they're or one is layered underneath one, just like uh, Emberman and Fenrir. Um, but which my calls it has several, so it takes 50% more part damage than the the slashing things. But um, 
the head actually has more than 50% of the health of the limb, so it's technically still not worth it, but the thing is, you hit a lot of excess damage on the head from Revenant, and then there's also one big missile you hit on the head from doing the boot. So because of that, that's why I'm thinking it might be worth it to wound the head. Because if I can wound the head before the boop, that would just be a lot of extra free damage. It's otherwise usually wasted, holy shit. That, this is not supposed to happen, uh, wound this early. You had, this is the best one I've ever gotten, oh my god. What? White damage. You gotta be shitting me. It's better break right now. Dude, what's the point? It doesn't even hit. Are you fucking? I'm so mad. <laughs> Dude, look how close it was. 600? Really? We better break right now. They were both that low. Oh, that's so aggravating. Okay, I need to clip that, because at the start there, that's the only run I ever had where the second arm... Um... It, it, it got wounded in less than one full wound combo. It got wounded in just the finisher. Usually the finisher hits a lot of white damage anyway, too, so that's... I must have critted out of my mind for that to happen. And then it didn't break, because I had the missile hit white. Oh. Hang on. I don't even know what I would have done in that run. Like, if... Because, if, like... I feel like I didn't react properly to make use of that, because that's something insanely, like... So because of that, I could have actually started a wound on the other arm. Um, instead of having to do a second wound combo on that arm. Because it only takes one... It only takes a wound combo. Like, you have to do enough damage to wound it. And then one payload crit, and then it's like half a spin, and then it breaks. Like, just like that. So there, I, I wounded early, and then I did another full wound combo on it, which would have all hit, because it was in the good position there. So then a break would have been so much overkill damage, and it's like... You know, the, the extra poke combo having salve value is a big thing, but like, I feel like it could have been a bigger thing to just like, wound the other arm, and then break that one, and then swap to the other arm. Shit, yeah, if that happened, I, who knows, man, it might have been like a one... I don't want to say one boob kill, because that seems pretty much impossible. But fuck, man, I don't know. I'm gonna rewatch that run a lot. I feel like after this week is over in months, because, like, last time called, there was a run I had that was so good with, like, this one fatal mistake that, oh my god. And I w I've, I've, I've rewatched it, like, 50 times, man. It's, like, in my bookmark bar, it's called, like, the pinnacle of agony or some shit. Some, like, overdramatic shit, but it's not overdramatic. It's, like, I, I really think about it, and, like, it keeps me up at night, bro. I care too much, but like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, it just. It's so sad, bro. <laughs> anyway, see, so yeah, that run, like, two runs ago, is gonna be like that. Like, in weeks and months and rotations, I'm gonna be thinking back to that run. And people are gonna call me a map, and every time someone mentions Stormclaw, I'm gonna bring it up and, like, Stormclaw. Stormclaw makes me crazy. They locked me in a room with Stormclaw. With a rubber room with Stormclaws, and Stormclaws make me. Well, did you guys. Fuck, man, I don't know the how the, the rubber room rat sky joke goes. Every time I hear, you know, they locked me in a room or something, like, I just think of that meme, and it's pretty weird, because it's, it's implanted in my head, because I know a lot of people find it funny, but I, I don't get it, and I also don't remember it well. So that might be why I get it, don't get it, but I also don't know the context behind it, so there's really just kind of a lot missing there. Kind of like, you know, the frontal lobe of my brain, unfortunately. Unlucky. Man, I just let my mango sit for a while, like 20 minutes. I need to go back to the mangoes. I just realized I'm sitting under, like, the, the nice warm vent fan, too, which is really bad. It's, like, heating my mangoes up. They're supposed to be refrigerated. Oh, yeah, I can taste that. They're, they're warm. That's bad. I need to finish these bad boys off fast. I don't want, like, 
room temperature mangoes. Or heated mangoes. I could fucking fry an omelet off these. I, mean, I don't know why you try an omelet, because it's like already fried, but I mean... I mean, why would you play Dauntless if you wanted to have fun, right? It's like we get already established that not really good whole logic thing, right? Please tell me that didn't hit white. It didn't hit white, okay. <laughs> and I died. What's the point? I could not miss people just find it. Because it's random. That's just funny for the very fact that it's such an insane line of words. It's a little context. I don't believe you. I think you're actually in the same boat as me and you're coping. I, I refuse to believe that I'm out of the loop and the loop is just that everyone else is out of it. That's too easy. It has to be that I'm retarded. Real? What can I say? I keep it. I mean, sometimes I just keep it. I mean, there's not really a lot else to do with it. So. That's just like, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting to that phase where, like, I start off sentences having content having confidence that before I finish it my brain can think of something funny and it's just fumbling it's like you know what's happening there bro like I was you know I was you know, getting the alley-oop ready and then brain just you know was not feeling it was not in that um fuck bro I'm so lost maybe I just need to play the video game and stop thinking so much I don't think I am thinking shit is just kind of coming out of my mouth right now. I wonder if I'm playing worse because of this. I think I always am because I always play like drastically better off stream. Like, um, hang on, let me focus for the poop. Yep, that's almost perfect poop. So what I was saying, earlier in the week, I, like, um, I was doing Tempest at the start. Hang on. What the fuck? I don't know what to say, man. Like, that's just fucking stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but how do people put up with this shit? Like, genuinely. It's just it's fucking unbearable. Uh, like, this is one of the stupidest fucking hitboxes I've ever seen in a video game. And like, it's so cool the pulse exists, but like, I need to just. <sighs> the other thing is Carabac. Like, Carabac QE is just like. So it lasts 15 seconds, right? And like, while that's going on, pretty much every time you get pulse, Carabac's gonna eat it, which fucking sucks. But, um. Man, you know, I actually wonder, like. So I know Carabac is. 6900 on um, motion value, which is crazy, but like, hmm, which is pretty funny. So that's uh, that's equal to almost seven missiles. Wait, no, <laughs> sorry, excuse me, it's not better. It's like just over six and a half missiles, like full charge missiles. Which is insane. Because I only do like four or five. Yeah, four missiles on the run and it dies. I mean, obviously, most of the damage is a missiles, but it's a lot. Missiles about a third of his health, so. Actually, no, that does not make any sense. Why the fuck are you awake at this? You're in my time zone. Why are you awake at this time, dude? What's WSG? Is that Wall Street Gurnal? Do you think I'm streaming a Wall Street Gurnal? I think you might need to get your head checked. I think you saw too much Fortnite Nights at Freddy's and you got your frontal lobe blown off. Holy shit, I missed. I got stage fright. Uh. 
Oh. Hey, Abram, do you remember a Ashton at all? Like, one of my IRL friends, he's in Chungay. Talk sometimes, I don't, you've never met him IRL, but uh... Do you remember him? I want to tell you a funny story. It happened like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. In my mind. Like, I just thought about it 10 minutes ago, so... Let's fucking say it happened then, right? Things only happen when I think about that. Okay, so like, bruh... Do you know that, like, horror game, like, the one? That, like, everyone was talking about? Fucking... He was like actually asking everyone in our friend, or I don't know about everyone. I only know about. He asked one person. He told me they said no, and then I just that was a couple of days ago, and I just noticed now, like he has matching profile pictures with someone else on my IRL friends group, and he, he changed his fucking. So he changed his profile picture to Andy, and he changed his fucking name to to Ashy, bro. That's fucking crazy. He's got the... <laughs> okay, hang on. I want to get into why it's funny more, but I can't say on stream. Even though I'm quiet. I'll, like, message you later, but it's really fucking funny. Okay. <laughs> I think you're the worst storyteller ever. <laughs> What can I say? I'm trying. I mean, I'm definitely I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm trying someone else's best, and then they're like the fucking Ian this year storytelling. I mean, it's also 2 a.m., but like, I mean, you should have like your storytelling like inhibitors like lower at this time. Like, you should have your standards. You should be like fucking tired of shit, man. It's like I don't know. It's kind of your fault for like just expecting anything really. This time of day. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So. Fuck, what was this? Yeah, I don't know why you came here, bro. You made a big mistake. What is he looking at? Holy shit. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Worst story. Why would you say that, man? That's so fucked up. Holy shit, I can't believe it. You see that snipe? I want to know about the Ashen story. That's why. Right, I forgot the Ashen story. Right. So, have you ever met Ashen's sister before? I don't know why I said that. You literally just said you've never met Ashen after I said you probably never met Ashen. This is another one of the quirks in my amazing storytelling. <laughs> well, clearly it wasn't obvious to me, so maybe you should have made it a bit more obvious. Maybe you should have tried knowing her even less, because clearly it wasn't, you know, unknown enough for me to not, for me to know about it. So I don't know, man. Kind of seems like a you problem now that I don't think about it. Uh. Yeah, so basically... Fuck, there was something... Ooh, I have to clip that, hang on. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I've been saying I'm too tired to, like, keep talking and have coherent thoughts for the last three hours. I don't know why I'm playing. Like, I'm like, I need to play, like, you know, the, the pinnacle of fucking gameplay and Dauntless at, you know, 2 a.m. with no fucking sleep and eating expired mangoes over the fucking heater. And let the fumes go into my brain. But yeah, so a reminder for later in the story, I don't know Ashton's family or ancestors. Okay, well that's kind of a big problem in the story. Because um I don't know them either and we're kinda gonna need someone to know about them to tell them uh their side of the story. Because I that that that's the only side of the story because, you know, I I did I didn't I didn't know about it. But I imagine something probably happened to them. It was pretty funny, at least at some point in time. So, yeah. So it's kind of a shame neither of us know them, because I bet there's probably a funny story there. Like at some point in their entire family history, and you know, we're just missing that. So that's a bit rough. Pretty sad about that now that I think about it. That could have been really possibly funny to laugh at right about now. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Abraham, I guess. Got an asshole move. 
Oh, well, thanks for coming into the stream. Please don't come back. Um, do you want to play Brawl? I just got, um... I got all the legends black today, finally. <laughs> you never tell a story again. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that, I don't know what to tell you. What did I say? I actually forgot what I said. Can't do it in less than three minutes. I'm trying my best, bro. Stop being so mean. I haven't slept in a while. Brahala depends. What did I say after Brahala? It, it depends on what. Did you want to play Brahala? Oh, I said I got all of the legends blacked. I meant I got them all level 25. I mean, not gonna lie though. Looking at Wu Shang, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean, bro. I'm. Man. The sad thing is, like, I actually got a revolutionary pike time today. I tied the best pike time, and I did it with a strategy that everyone thought was garbage. Against the, the meta strategy that everyone always uses. So I'm kind of playing it. I guess I'm playing. Alright, let's play some Brahala. Send me the room code, and then I'll close stream. The other people that are watching. I'm sorry, but I mean, this is what you deserve for playing Dauntless, so I don't know what to tell you. See you later, though. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate your time. I just don't appreciate my own, so that's why I'm playing Dauntless, so. Yep. Nice to meet you, Awful. Um, I don't think I have to say bye to Revy. But yeah, just hang on. I'll check Discord right after this run, and then we can play. Uh, do you want a VC? Or is it like too late for you? I guess you. Yeah, I'm gonna dip. Let's peep the board before I go. Hang on. Not another VC. It's awful that you clicked on this guy's stream. I don't know why you like it's strange to me that people watch these things. Like I could never watch someone like retardedly ramble to themselves for three hours. The weirdest thing is a lot of people like lurk like they like I don't know, do they just like listen to me? I don't know. I can I can talk up a storm to myself. I think I like not gonna lie, I would be the best schizophrenic. Like I would go so crazy like all of my, like, whatever they're called, like, the imaginary people, they would never be bored, bro. Other, other schizos would be like, you know, they talk to me, I'd be like, no, nah, bro, they can't even get a word, and I'm always talking to them, bro. And they're like, I don't know, like, all the people imagine, like, they would all, like, spec into therapy and, like, just start getting out their notes and, like, noting down shit while I'm talking, they'd be like, damn, this motherfucker don't shut up. And, like, that would just go on forever, man. Like, it's kind of crazy, actually, if you really think about it. <sighs> okay, yep, that's the thing I thought, train. Right out of shit. Okay, let's see. Did anyone make any progress? Oh, God is on. Is there? Nice, nice. Drive us a 19. No groups progress. Okay, I'm still second. Okay, 64 on 0493. Okay, see everyone. Thanks for tuning in.